I'm Gary Edelman, Director of History and Education at the Civil War Trust, and I'm often told I'm lucky to have my job, which I am, but I'm also often asked, how can I get into the field? How can I become a Civil War historian? So I thought I'd give a few minutes of my opinion, one historian's opinion, on how you can get into the field. The first thing is, what is a Civil War historian? Are you suddenly a Civil War historian when you write your first article, when you get a degree in history or an advanced degree in history? Is it when you give your first tour, when you're on your first Civil War documentary, then are you a Civil War historian? It's sort of murky, and in my opinion, you are a Civil War historian once people perceive you and see you as a Civil War historian. Most people believe there are two tracks in becoming a historian. You could become a public historian, or you could become an academic historian. And I think that there are pros and cons of becoming each. Uh, it, public historians might feel functions like working for the National Park Service, uh, working for a museum, working for a government agency or a corporation, working for a historical consulting firm, becoming a licensed battlefield guide. Academic historians are usually going to get a PhD, and their job track is often to look for a tenured position at a college or a university, and sometimes get to teach the civil war. Both of the tracks can have drawbacks as well. Public historians sometimes struggle to be seen as quote-unquote real historians, and academic historians might have gone from their undergrad to master's to PhD and gone straight into the classroom and never had what people might call real-world experience. People tend to see these tracks as separate, but I don't know any reason why they have to be entirely separate, and you will be the most successful if you learn to incorporate elements of both tracks. In becoming a historian, you need to be excellent at what you do. You need to be uncompromising and very careful in your research. You need to keep your integrity. Don't write a foreword for your friend's book if your friend's book isn't very good. And you have to be patient. It can take a long time to get the type of job you want. And you also have to stand out somehow. Be a generalist on a topic such as the Civil War. But also, what is it that you can become or already are the best at? So you can stand out among the other people who are all shooting for the same job that you are. It also really helps to have additional skills beyond the history field in order to get a history job. It certainly helps if you can manage people, it helps if you can become a good administrator, it helps if you can edit and cut video, and it certainly helps if you can become a good presenter somehow. Some of these skills might help you stand out among the others. So apply your excellence, your persistence, your doggedness, and keep your integrity as you actually do something with these traits. Um, start a blog if you'd like, be more active on social media, write an article, join a nonprofit, and volunteer for those nonprofits so that people get to know you. Be dogged and calculating in making yourself valuable to people who can help you later. It could be you do that with 30 or 40 different people, but one, one can hold the strings to get you onto that Civil War documentary, to be able to get you into that job that you've been trying to get. And you know, this can take a long time. It can take you 5, 10, 20 years to get the type of job that you want, but don't worry about it. You'll probably have a fun time along the way. Maybe you want to become a Civil War historian because you think it's cool, because it's fun, or because it's the most fascinating thing you know. So keep your integrity, do your work excellently, be uncompromising, and I think it'll pay off for you.